Hi there. So I decided to come on to this video call to provide some Q&A and basically just kind of chat, right? So no, no strict slide deck, nothing crazy that needed to be addressed, no education pieces, just what is it that you want to know? And I'll tell you straight up, no fluff. And so although nobody showed up live, which is sad, but at the same time, I do have some prepped questions that I'd like to go over with you just in case you're watching this later and you're like, oh, darn, I'm, I'm meant to show up, but life happened. And you know what? I get it. Life does happen. And so hypnotherapy has been around for a very long time. So a lot of people are like, well, what is hypnotherapy? Or their notion of what hypnosis is, is like the stage shows. So somebody um, goes up on the stage, there's a hypnotist, and they make them do something funny, like cluck like a chicken. They might um, have their arms go up. They might um, do a dance, Who you name it. And so I just want you to know that hypnotherapy is very different than hypnosis in that sense. Hypnotherapy is about um, focusing on behavior and positive affirmations. And we don't do things like that. <laughs> I've never made anybody cluck like a chicken. Um, what it is, is it's really a deep relaxation, very similar to like a meditation. So if you were to do a meditation, you probably take 15 to 30 minutes. And what you're doing in there is you're just relaxing the body and focusing your awareness to the here and now. So your your conscious mind is very active in this sense because you're constantly trying to bring your your mind back to your body or back to your breath. And so you're actively using your conscious mind in hypnotherapy, we want to uh, tap into your subconscious mind. And so what I like to explain with the, what's the difference? Well, your conscious mind would be like the tip of an iceberg. The subconscious mind is everything below the surface. So below sea level, um, the subconscious mind is in charge of basically everything. So for example, your conscious mind is your thought. You don't stop breathing if you stop thinking to breathe. That's your subconscious mind. And that would be how to explain what hypnotherapy is in a nutshell. It's talking directly to that subconscious mind to create a behavioral change or support your mental and emotional health. Some people might ask me, okay, well, what conditions or issues can hypnotherapy help with? Well, one of the main uh, ways that hypnotherapy can support you and, and support really anyone in their health journey is to help manage your stress. So stress hormone does cause quite a bit of havoc on the body. And so managing stress is key for overall health. Um, however, any behavioral change can be supported this way. That's why hypnotherapy is so so commonly used for smoking cessation. It's also used in weight loss because there's a lot of mental emotional pieces that go, go into play along with addiction. So addiction to food, binging. Um, and so that's how that works. Hypnotherapy can also be used for pain management and phobias and anxiety. Another um, question that I often will get is, is hypnotherapy effective? The truth is the effectiveness is really dependent on the person because each person's experience is unique to them and it all is determined by how much you're willing to play. So in hypnotherapy, we use a lot of visualization and imagery and you have to really think about that image. You have to like as though you're there. 
You have to engulf yourself into what the words are being said. And if you're resisting it or you're not quite there, you're not quite in that relaxed state, then yeah, it's not going to be as effective as if you were to fully commit and go in. So that's why in my initial, I typically will do a, um, what's called a suggestibility test. This is to see how likely you are to have an effect from hypnotherapy. And so we test um, how your body would react if you were standing versus sitting, eyes closed versus not closed, um, and then just a regular standard seated position. We go over different types of imagery um, and a full, thorough intake about why you're wanting hypnotherapy. Um, and then we go over the outcome that we're hoping for. So really tease that out so that I can create the right script for your specific needs versus just downloading a soundtrack that's pre-recorded and not directly for you. So what happens during a hypnotherapy session? Um, during hypnotherapy sessions, so that's just the pre-log, um, during the actual treatment, you will get into a comfortable position or laying down, seated, whatever you need to do. Um, I do it all over Zoom. And the reason why I do it that way is because I can record the audio. When I record the audio, I can then clip it and send it to you so that you can do this. Now listen to it every single day to really hyper, hyper focus that attention outside of a hypnotherapy session. Um, so because I'm doing it virtually, the camera that you're using, whether it be on your phone or your laptop, needs to show your face. I need to be able to see what's going on. Um, if you are actually in a hypnotic state or if you're resisting and I can see that on the patient's face I can see that on the person's face whether or not they're resisting now can anyone be hypnotized I will say that most people can it's just the depth and the ease of which somebody can get in really takes practice. And so this is that flexing that um, inner child muscle, being able to imagine and be playful and have fun, super important when it comes to hypnotherapy. Some people will ask me, okay, well, what does a hypnotic state feel like? And so why don't we go over that? I'm going to get you to just get comfortable you're going to maybe shake some sillies out, whatever, get some relaxation on. And all you're going to do is you're going to close your eyes. You're going to take a deep breath in and out. That's it. This is what hypnotherapy feels like. Not too scary, eh? Mm hmm. So, some people think that um, hypnotists are, when they're getting people on the stage to do all these funky things, that they're like controlling their mind. But that's not the case. In a stage show, basically what's happening there is you're giving the person permission to play. And so that person would normally have done those things. It just gave them the permission to do so. Your subconscious mind will always protect you. You'll never do anything that is not within what you believe to your core. And it will never put you in a, in a position where you would not be safe. Okay. That brings us into our other question. Is hypnotherapy safe? So I just want to say there that this is a therapy session, hypnotherapy. So there's never a position I would put you in that would be unsafe. The worst case scenario is that you fell asleep. 
and either a partner or a phone will wake you up or you just go to bed. Some people, I will clip the end of the recording that brings you out of hypnosis so that you can do it before you go to sleep. Are there any side effects or risks associated with hypnotherapy? So just like kind of like coming out of a movie theater, when you feel a little bit like drowsy, maybe a little bit like I don't know, chill, feeling a little bit relaxed. And so that's a very common side effect um, or benefit, whatever you choose to, to say there. And then how long does a typical hypnotherapy session last? The actual script itself should not be longer than 45 minutes, um, which we would then have recorded on Zoom with you. The intake and getting to know you a bit better and understand what script we're going to be doing does take a bit longer. And how many sessions are usually needed to see results? So this really depends on the goal that needs to be achieved and if there's multiple layers to the goal. So, for example, um, with smoking cessation, it's typically like one, maybe two Um possibly three sessions. So I wouldn't say anything more than three. The weight loss hypnotherapy is definitely more. It's minimum of four um, because of the different layers that are involved here. It's not just quit smoking and support reducing addiction. It's um, finding healthier choices, being more body confident, finding or enjoying movement more, uh, stopping binge eating or cravings. Like there's a lot more into a weight loss program um, than there is in just smoking cessation. And then for mental health. So there could be multiple things going on. Um, I know I have one of my ladies who's been absolutely amazing and she's been addressing all of her things right head on. And I've been so happy for her. She's got a lot going on. And so this is going to be something where we peel back layers and we constantly address new things that are coming up for her because it's not just one issue. Uh, There's multiple things that are stemming from multiple different causes. And so that is something where it's going to take some time to peel back those layers and really help get her to where she wants to be. If it's just run-of-the-mill regular anxiety that you know the causes and everything's all like you know exactly, then yeah, it should maybe one session and it'll be fine. Um, So hopefully that helps. It's not one and done. It's all very unique and tailored directly for you. I think I answered all the pre-questions that were listed here. Of course, please comment below if you have any more questions. Um, when it comes to like pricing for hypnotherapy, I do charge $25 for pre-recorded soundtrack. Um, a session with me directly is $250, no tax as of right now. Uh, and I do treat people all over North America for hypnosis. Versus under my naturopathic license, I can only treat people in Ontario. Um, Hypnotherapy doesn't have the same rules or guidelines. And so I can treat anybody in actually the world. It's just with time zones and everything that just makes it easier to be all of North America. Okay, well, hopefully this uh, Q&A helped. If there's any additional questions, please feel free to either direct message me or comment below. And I'd love to help support you in some way. So let's, uh, let's have a conversation. Let's chat some more.